Hi, everyone. Hey. Hi. Hi. Uh, thanks for all you guys for doing to help us uh, with volunteering and making calls to voters. Um, before I go any further, I can see someone without their camera on. Can you please turn your camera on? Wait, wait a second. Is that Luke Skywalker? I see it. Hello, everyone. Hey. Oh my gosh. Mark, thank you so much for joining I'm us. I'm so glad you're all here today. It's proof that the resistance is not dead, right? <laughs> I'm so proud of you for having engagement in this fight, and that's what it is. It's so important, especially in Ohio with early voting, uh, to keep the momentum going. So, Mark, uh, is the force with Joe and Kamala? I have to tell you, I am convinced that Joe Biden is the exact right person in the exact right moment of time yes. that we need right now. But I want to hear your stories. I mean, what you're encountering or what motivates you, who has a story to tell? I know I'm excited to to support Joe Biden. And, and I just feel like so much of this race is just personal to my life experience. I have a sister who many years ago had a bone marrow transplant. And so I, I, I know what it's like to worry about pre-existing conditions. And I'm a lawyer. I do a lot of bankruptcies. I know what it's like to see mountains of medical bills drain people's retirement and put them into uh, untenable financial situations. I really do think it's important to get somebody who cares about health care, who cares about mm -hmm. the struggles of the kitchen table instead of ratings. Well, you're absolutely right. I actually have a rare disease and uh, without the pre-existing conditions, I would never be able to get, you know, a job or insurance. And, you know, I think to myself, what would I do? It's a terrible thing to have to worry about if you're going to be able to be insured or not. I'm a nurse and we have to have scientists that we can trust and a president that we can trust to do what's in our best interest and not think that we're disposable people, that we're not important, that the only thing that counts is the stock market. I want a president, regardless of party, that's a role model for young people. There's something so genuine about Joe Biden. And when you see it in person, how he interacts with people, you really get a sense of what kind of person he is. Remember at his town hall the other night, he recognized one of the questioners having met yeah. him on the campaign trail. That's extraordinary. So I'm a teacher at, at Kent State in Ohio, and uh, I'm doing this for my students because I have been teaching for about 16 years. And this is the first time where all of my Gen Z students are all registered to vote. Um, all right. I even need to tell them. They're like, we got this, Dr. G. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited. I'm a first time voter this year. I just turned 18 a couple months ago, so I'm really excited. Right. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, Annabelle. Thank you. When you have Joe Biden and you have uh, Kamala Harris that are offering an optimistic alternative, fact-based, with actual plans to change things that will affect people's lives. We've got to fight like uh, our lives depend on it because they mm -hmm. literally do. Let's do it for Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Let's do it for the future generations. And always remember, the force will be with you, always. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Hamill. Thanks for having me, Ohio, and fight on! <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>